Um, Secretary Vilsack, um, thank you for coming to the Ag Committee earlier this, uh, this year on several occasions. It was great to have your testimony there. Um, that said, I, I do have a bone to pick with you about Forest Service stimulus funds. As you know, the U.S. Forest Service has so far distributed nearly $940 million, or over 80 percent, of its total stimulus dollars. Of the portion of that spending that has gone to the Rocky Mountain region, an almost unnoticeable amount has reached our national forests in Wyoming. The media has asserted that Wyoming may be getting punished as our congressional delegation all voted against the stimulus bill. I'm willing to assume that your department is more above board than that. But can you please explain to me and to my constituents the disparity between Forest Service stimulus dollars in Wyoming compared to our neighboring states? Congressman, I'd be happy to, uh, uh, to do that, but I, I, I should tell you that, uh, as you probably know, we are in the process of, of continuing to make uh, decisions about Forest Service projects. And while this is uh, not uh, public, I can tell you that I'm fairly uh, confident, based on what we have planned, that there will be about $6.5 million going to Wyoming in this next uh, allocation. And the reason why uh, we haven't gotten to Wyoming until now is the selection criteria was based on the condition, the unemployment circumstances and the conditions of the state. Uh, and so we ranked programs and projects based on the capacity to try to help folks get through uh, difficult times. Your state, uh, because of the good leadership uh, that it has with Governor Friedenthal and others, uh, obviously did not have the unemployment rate quite as high as other states. And so we went through the process of, of making sure we got the money to the states that were most in need. So, um, but uh, m money is coming, uh, as has been the case with all of the other pro programs that I talked about earlier. Uh, Wyoming, is, as I look at this, it's. Uh, received close to $50 million in other stimulus money. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would, I'd like to point out that right now Utah, which has received $12 million in forest uh, monies, uh, has a higher, uh, or rather, excuse me, a lower unemployment rate than Wyoming. Um, we have more forests, and we have an enormous problem with bark beetles. Uh, they are projected to destroy uh, between 90 and 100 percent of the lodgepole pine uh, in southern Wyoming, northern Colorado um, by 2012. So we're in a, a desperate situation with regard to um, bark beetles, and uh, our unemployment rate now exceeds that uh, of Utah, which has received 12 million. I am, however, encouraged to hear that the, we will be receiving six and a half million. Can you tell me when that will occur? Uh, it is in the process of, um, uh, I think it's in the process of being reviewed by uh, either my staff or OMB, so it's, it should be relatively shortly. I should also indicate to you that uh, there were other criteria in addition to unemployment, uh, the risk of forest fire, the capacity to create and retain sustainable jobs, the capacity to use wood to energy or biomass projects, uh, the opportunity and capacity to create jobs that would contribute to greener operations, recreation sites, roads, trails, fires, and other facilities. In other words, there were 2,700 projects that were submitted to us. We did our best to try to, to try to rank them uh, based on a variety of criteria. Uh, I can reassure you that there was absolutely no determination uh, relative to votes. I did until you told me that you voted against the stimulus. I had no idea that that was your vote. Uh, and frankly, I, if, in terms of my job, I don't care. Um, uh, our, my job is to make sure that these resources are used to create jobs, uh, to help people transition from bad times to better times and create that 21st century economy, and we are very focused on doing that job. Well, thank you, Mr. Vilsack. I appreciate that. Our press has been uh, suggesting that uh, our votes may have had something to do with the fact that Wyoming had not received the funds. Uh, I'm pleased to hear they're coming. Briefly, uh, Secretary LaHood, I'd just like to make a comment. Um, because Wyoming has uh, 29 people per lane mile and the national average is 128, uh, Wyoming's per capita contribution to the highway fund is $314.
where the national average contribution is only $109. And I want to tell you, I'm grateful for the stimulus funds we've received for highways in Wyoming. That has been an area where um, uh, we're pleased. Uh, but in terms of the long-term trust fund issues, uh, I just wanted to suggest to you that because of our small population and huge amounts of highways, tremendously important uh, economic and transportation corridors, and the fact that our small population puts a higher burden uh, per lane mile than other states, uh, that as you're coming up with a long-term resolution to the Highway Trust Fund issues, we hope you'll take that into consideration. And I want to thank you for being here, and I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this hearing. Mr. Chairman, let me just say in response to the Congresswoman, I, I know this uh, Highway Trust Fund formula is, a, is an issue for many, many members. It was during the time that I served, uh, it continues to be. Uh, I've talked to both of your senators uh, from Wyoming about this, and I, I think you'll, you'll be in a, a good position along with your senators to really work on this as we work through how to really make the formula fair. I mean, it just, uh, th there are issues. And I, and I know how important uh, these roads are to states like Wyoming. I, I really do. I mean, they're, they're the, the lifeline for economic development and opportunities. And uh, so we'll work with you on that. I'll look forward to it. Thank you so much. Mr. Chairman, thanks a lot for holding this hearing. Thank you. And Mr. Secretary, you can include me 